Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by if you are new here. I am so pumped for this video. I am a cloth diapering mommy and obsessed with it. So I am really excited to talk to you about the pros and cons of cloth diapering. Really quick, just a little bit about myself. I am a full-time working mommy to my son, Grayson. I post videos about being a mom. I am going to be posting videos about cloth diapering, about Disney, about fitness, you name it. I'm probably going to be obsessed with it at some point in my life and make videos about it. So that's kind of that's kind of where I stand with my channel. Okay guys, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so can we just talk about really quick how cute cloth diapers are? Oh my god, definitely a pro. How adorable are they? It doesn't matter if it's just a plain solid color or a crazy crazy print. It's adorable. So if that's not enough reason to do cloth diapers, I've got some more for you. So a huge reason a lot of people do cloth diapering is because it's so cost effective. It doesn't matter if you spend $5 on each cloth diaper or $25 on each cloth diaper for your whole stash. You're still going to spend much less money on your cloth stash than you would disposables. Um, most people on average spend about $1,700 on disposable diapers from birth to potty training. Now, that's going to vary a few hundred dollars based on your specific child and how often they need their diaper changed and also what brand of diaper you're going for. 1700 ish is a rough guesstimate. You would have to do some serious, crazy shopping to spend that much on cloth diapers. I'm sure it can be done, but it would have to be crazy. Um, yeah, so that's a huge, huge, huge benefit to cloth diapering. The next pro to cloth diapering is how environmentally friendly it is. We're not throwing all of our diapers into a landfill where it takes hundreds of years for them to break down. We're reusing them, recycling them, rewashing them, um, and using them on several kids. So it's much better for the environment. Our diapers are not going into the landfill. They're being reused. Kind of moving along that kind of same same road is you can use these diapers on multiple kids. So regardless of if you've got a two month old and a 15 month old, you can use the same diapers on them. Or if you have a 10 year old and a five year old and a three year old, you could have used the same diapers throughout all of their diapering years. Um, so it really can save you a ton of money over time, especially, especially if you're planning on or you do have several kids who are using diapers. Really, really cost effective. Um, and like I said, you use them for multiple kiddos. Um, again, moving on to my next pro, which kind of goes along with that one. They all kind of mesh together, but most of the cloth diapers are branded as a one size diaper. Now you have a couple of exceptions like the newborn diapers um, and then some diapers are a size one or a size two. I'm not going to get into that but a lot of them are branded as one size. So technically you can really use the diaper from about 10 pounds to about 35 pounds give or take a couple of pounds depending on the shape of your baby etc. Um, but how awesome is that? I mean, you can really go minimalistic with your stash if you want to. Um, I just really like to buy them. Um, the last pro that I'm going to talk about is, again, this is my opinion. There has been no scientific study that I know of that has been proven to be better on baby's skin. So Grayson, my son, has eczema and overall just very sensitive skin. Um, with disposables, he was getting a diaper rash very frequently and sometimes it would get pretty bad where um, his skin was so chapped 
that like a tiny piece would like peel off or like bleed a little bit so yeah that's pretty horrifying as a parent to have happen since we've switched to cloth he has had very few diaper rashes and when he does have a diaper rash it's very mild like not concerning at all very mild diaper rash so in our experience it's been much better for baby's skin okay now we're moving on to the cons and please do not let any of these stop you from cloth diapering none of them are that bad okay they're a little bit more work yes they are you're going to have to do more laundry but it's really not the end of the world you're a mom now you're probably doing laundry almost on the daily anyway what's another load or two a week a couple loads a week um our routine right now i'm having to do a diaper load every other day i am in the process of purchasing more diapers so that i don't have to do a load every other day um I'd rather do it every second or third day. I wouldn't go more than three days. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, they are a little bit more work. The actual act of putting the laundry in the washer and the dryer is really not a big deal or hanging your diapers to dry, whatever you choose to do. It's really not a lot of work. Um, if you've got pocket diapers, that's going to be a little bit extra work as well. I stuff my pocket diapers while I'm watching TV at night. It's my me time. It's my time to relax, to chill. I enjoy it. So to me, that doesn't really feel like that much work. There are so many different options as well with cloth diapers. You don't have to use a pocket. You can use an all-in-one or an all-in-two, which are much less work. Anyway, moving on to my second con. And I feel like this one was the biggest one for me. And that is when you are doing a cloth diaper stash, you really don't have the option to purchase it over a length of time. You kind of have to purchase it all at once or you know maybe a couple big purchases but regardless it's a big upfront cost. Um, you can probably get a stash for about a hundred dollars if you're if you're really frugal um, and really smart about it and it like if that's your main priority yeah you could probably do a stash for about a hundred dollars using, using covers and prefolds and that kind of thing um but if you're using like all-in-ones all-in-twos pockets um, it's going to be a little bit more expensive and i would say if you go on the lower end like the alva baby brand you could probably get a whole stash for like 200. that's still a pretty decent upfront cost most stashes are going to cost three to five hundred dollars for the for everything that you need so big upfront cost um, i wish that they had more financing options available i know that a couple of the websites do but it's not anything it's not anything extraordinary so big con upfront cost okay another big con is the gross factor i'm not just talking about the poops although that is part of it i do the dunk and swish method. I purchased a diaper sprayer, which does not fit on our toilets in our apartment. So the dunk, dunk and swish method, that's what we're doing here in this house. It's really not that bad. I get a little frustrated because I really wanted to use the diaper sprayer, but not that big of a deal. Um, the worst part of cloth diapering for me the absolute worst part is when you are starting to do your laundry you open up that glorious wet bag and the smell is really really strong Grayson is a heavy peer and oh, wow guys it's really strong let me know if yours is that strong because it's like knock you out strong I breathe through my mouth when I'm putting his diapers in the wash, um, the way we do our wash routine is um, because I've got the daycare and Josh also changing him into cloth, I pull the inserts out of our pockets right before they go into the wash so that nobody else has to deal with that. Um, so it just take, does take me 
like five minutes to pull out all of the inserts and get everything in there and it smells pretty terrible it is what it is it's pretty gross though okay next con is that they're pretty bulky um to me this isn't that big of a deal uh, they definitely are bulkier than disposable diapers um, but if you get a good fit on your baby they're not going to be too too bulky also the bulk is going to be determined what you like with what you put in the diaper so if you are doing an overnight diaper with a pocket diaper and you stuff like three or four inserts in there yeah that thing is going to be massive um but some of them are more trim really not that huge of a deal for me but it can be a little bit bulky kind of in line with that is there is no yellow and blue line to tell you when they've peed like a disposable diaper has I initially thought that this was going to be an issue for me but it really hasn't even been something that I've even thought about at all um, so with the disposables the yellow line will turn blue once they've peed in it um, with the cloth diapers you don't have that but you should be changing your baby every two ish hours anyway um, and with cloth if you press down on the front you can tell if it's if it's really full um, but I usually change his diapers based on how long he's been wearing them and I like which diaper he's wearing so if it's a more heavy duty diaper I know it's gonna be good for a little bit longer than a normal day diaper um, but you should be changing your kiddo every couple of hours anyway okay the next con is that they take a long time to dry some diapers more than others the pocket diapers themselves dry very quickly because once you remove the inserts there's not much diaper left um, the all-in-ones take quite a while to dry um, and the inserts like the, specifically the hemp and bamboo inserts take much longer to dry as well um, it's really not that big of a deal you just need to plan your laundry around when you are going to need dry diapers so for us I have to take into account when I'm working and Grayson's daycare making sure they're going to have enough diapers for the day I don't like to do diaper laundry in the morning before work so I always plan our laundry routine around having dry diapers that I can stuff and get ready at night so that is something that we um, take into account okay I'm listing this as a con it's not really a con cloth diapering can really turn into an obsession so if you have an obsessive personality like I do you just got to be careful because you can go crazy with it um we had like 26 diapers 25 or 26 diapers and I just ordered a few more so I haven't gone too crazy yet <sighs> But it is just so much fun buying cloth diapers so just kind of watch it it definitely can be a con because if you're cloth diapering to save money it's really easy to spend money on cloth um, so just take that into account all right that is my list of pros and cons thank you guys so much for watching i hope you learned something from this video let me down let me know in the comments down below um what pros and cons you have for cloth diapering do you cloth diaper do you want a cloth diaper let me know okay guys i'll talk to you next time bye